getting ready to go shooting tomorrow morning. It's supposed to be really bad weather. So we'll see um, if we do get any shooting in, but I figured I'd still give it a try. We'll see. I got a new bag from Kimimoto. Um, it's specifically a range bag, so we'll see. I'll actually get to try it out in the rain, probably. But uh, it came with a bunch of different slots and things to hold guns in. It has, uh, has slots for your magazines on the front. So, yeah, be interesting to give it a try. Main thing I'm going out to the gun range to try are these Terminal Ascent from Federal. Um, I do like the Hornady Precision. It is very accurate out of my gun. Grouped it four or five times and every time it's probably averaged out to be about 0.6 MOA. And that's not shooting out of a gun rest, it's just off of the bipod that I have. And then I'll either use my gun cover for the back rest, or if I'm really just at the gun range to zero, I'll use the sock full of rice. So main reason why I want to try a different uh, load other than the Precision Hunter is I've heard these tend to uh, fall apart, but uh, I did shoot an elk in the head with these and it uh, punctured the skull with no problem and elk skulls are really hard. I've had the nozzler partition bullets not uh, go through a elk skull, so the fact that um, this through um, tells me that it holds together good enough. Been really liking the 7 KRC and um, thought I'd just give these this other load of bullet a try. One thing I've noticed is it doesn't look like they're uh, bullets seated as um, far. There is five grains difference. This is 170 grain and this is 175 grain. Um, put it this way so we don't get the boxes mixed up. But you can kind of tell it looks like this one is just seated out a little bit further than this one. So I'm not a reloader, um, so I don't know all the advantages and disadvantages of the seat depth, but um, I just found that interesting. We'll see if I can get them to break. We're going to get a little bit wet. But I got my rain jacket on and hopefully I have a good time. So, got my dog with me. She'll be most in the car mostly, so that it uh, don't hurt her ears. That should be good enough. Layla! Come on. So I can tell you from looking through the scope, it's probably about one MOA, not as good as I'd like, um, but uh, maybe it looks worse through the scope. We'll take, go down and take a look at it. As I was seeing through my scope, it's not as good as I'd like. Let's see, we're looking at one and a half. If, it, if I can't get it to group over under one MOA, MOA this next three shots I'll stick with the Hornady Precision which um, I'm really happy with so it's it's not bad news but uh, you can see the bullet went right through uh, this uh, um, what do you call that fence post uh, anyway get this other target set up one other thing I'm gonna try is uh, shooting prone um, 
I, I was pretty solid there on the bench, but I'm just I'm just used to shooting prone and to give this bullet all the chance it can I'm gonna um, shoot prone so see if that does any better First two shots were under one MOA, but that third one went way to the right, and I definitely didn't pull that one. So um, I think we're gonna stick with the Hornady Precision. Um, in fact, I'm just gonna throw those in right now. Not even gonna worry about cleaning it and see if we group tighter. I guess if we don't group quite tighter, maybe I'll uh, clean the rifle then, but. Yeah, not, not as good as I was hoping. Three ready to go. Well, that group the exact same as the terminal ascent. I did notice that I had my um, windage um, to the right or to the left um, to MOA. Um, so that's why it's shooting to the left. That's crazy. It grouped the exact same as the terminal ascent. And I'm not grouping as tight as tight as I have been in the past, so I might need to torque everything down. Maybe the rain's messing with things. It's not windy out here, so um, that's not it. Now I'm. I feel I'm. It's inconclusive now. I need to uh, probably clean my rifle and. Uh, start from there. So I was hoping this would be a quick, um, quick comparison, but um, well, it doesn't look like it. I'm gonna have to clean my rifle and start over. All right. So this is pretty funny. I've been coming to this range for a while, several times. I've actually never opened up this uh, shed. So I'm sitting there, sh laying on the ground, and they have a uh, benches and everything. I opened it up because uh, I didn't want to clean my gun in the rain. I was thinking I was just going to have a whole bunch of uh, um, junk in here and target stuff, but didn't know they the front actually opened up and I don't even need to be shooting in the rain. <laughs> going to clean my gun now. Round two. 
that one's about a one AMOE. All right, I'm gonna stop that camera down there, and then I'll uh, give us another cleaning and do the same thing with um, Precision Hunter. About one and an eighth. One and an eighth. So still not as good as I'd like. Um, we'll see if I can get these um, Hornady Precision Ammo, the ELDX, to group now. I am really surprised they weren't grouping the last time. So I'm gonna uh, change this target out, clean my rifle, and uh, try it again. All right, well, I think that was probably about 0.8 MOA or something. Um, so better, um, still not as good as I think it should be. But uh, in conclusion, I think I'm gonna have to shoot both. At least one, uh, I'm, I'm done today, but another range day. Um, does seem like the my ELDX is shooting better for me, but um, kind of inconclusive. So uh, we'll be back out to try it again. All right, well, let's see what this one measures. About one MOA on the money, maybe uh, seven eighths. Since I got this handgun gun range bag, decided to take my handgun to the range to shoot. And, uh, don't give me a hard time about how uh, poor of a shot I am with a handgun. Growing up, my dad would take us, me and my brother, to the range. To shoot our rifles all the time, but didn't take didn't grow up taking us uh, shooting handguns. Um, in fact, I've never had a formal lesson in shooting handguns, but uh, I like guns in general, so I've obviously um, have one and um, shoot it every once in a while. But I'm by no means any good. <laughs> so, um, but I want to give this uh, bag. Uh, a good review and uh, it has three um, handgun pouches so I brought uh, my 9 and my 22 I don't think I'm gonna shoot my 22 um, today too happy with the results I got today. I think I need to give my gun a deep cleaning um, and try again, but regardless, the ELDX did group tighter than the uh, Terminal Ascent, but uh, um, so I, I'm going to stick with those bullets but since I have a half a box of bullets of the terminal ascent left next time I go to the range I'm I'm gonna try those ones out never a bad day at the range it was fun